Welcome to PowerPoint night. Tonight I've gathered several of my friends to make presentations and then present them. The winner is going to get this basket and the loser is going to get this basket. Other than that, sit back, relax, and let me know who you think did best. Who do you think is gonna have the best presentation? Definitely not Anthony. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Here's how it's done. Welcome to PowerPoint night. Yeah! So y'all are probably wondering, Anthony, why you dressed up like a Southern man who likes to have sex with his sister. I would like to welcome all of you to the bounty board. Ooh. I have bounties on specific tasks that me, Cletus, <laughs> me, Cletus needs done. So there's gonna be a, a bounty amount, the bounty, and then how many people can take up said bounty. Do your best animal impression. Anyone can do it and you receive a dollar. So would anybody like to go raise their hands? <laughs> <laughs> yes, go ahead. Whoa! Send a foot picture to a parent. I'm probably going just, first. Guys, right, always going first. Wait, so always going first. No way. Yeah, yeah. No, look at him talk. Oh, not that. In the classroom, Yo, too? Oh, oh, no. Shit. Oh, look at that display. <laughs> Your mom said I didn't request feet pics? Yeah. That's fire. OK. Oh, this is supposed to be one person. So you, you want it? Yeah. All right, perfect. Here you go. All right, you can just keep working on that. We're gonna move on. Uh, give me a back massage for the remainder of the bounty board. Okay, 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 okay. An actual, okay, 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 okay. This is my okay. This is my back no, massage. No, no, I'm not gonna pay you. It's five dollars. You know? Fine, fine, fine. Exactly. Okay, perfect. Five dollars. Limit one. Smack Enzo. No, I have to call on you. No, you've gone enough, Henry. You go. Down. Give Paul a lap dance. Aye! <laughs> All right, Gavin. I, I did that last time we hung out with Paul. Hey, hey, hey. I don't think Gavin knows what a lap dance is. <laughs> this is vulgar. <laughs> Paul looks like he's enjoying it. All right, next up, uh, $1 to freestyle. Yo, we're here on PowerPoint night. Don't mess with me. We're getting in a fight. You're gonna mess with me? You miss your life. All right, I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. $50, but you have to finish this entire concoction. Can we feel the weight? No, you can't smell it or anything. You have to finish the entire thing. Is this like Janice's soy sauce thing? Maybe it is. I wish Janice was fucking here. Can we die if we drink the entire thing? No, you won't die. Actually, I'll give you all $5 if you all take a swig. Hold hands and say, I agree and will not sue Anthony. I agree and will not sue Anthony. Guys, it was water. Oh! This was a lesson in trust. And you guys passed. But also, I did have mono and I did drink out of this cup profusely beforehand. So thank you all. Uh, this is how to risk someone in Simlish. Basically, the Sims is a virtual world where you can have your characters live their lives in a virtual world. Okay, next. And now, this is Riz. Whoa, whoa. Anyways, continuing. Cummins Nala. Cummins Nala. 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 That means, how are you? Bow burned down the orphanage. Bow burned down the orphanage. <laughs> that means, I burned down the orphanage. Now we're going to learn how to Riz. Uh, Zawaka Janava. Zawaka Janava. That means, I think you're hot. I want you guys to practice using these with the people next to you. So take like, the next 30 seconds to try it. Have a conversation. Zawaka Janava. <laughs> Baba the beep bop. Now I need a volunteer. So we're gonna sim simulate how to have raise with, with, when you approach someone. Bow thinks you're sexy. <laughs> we bow, 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 we bow. Wow. So Enzo said yes, but we did not know is that what I asked when I said we bow was we marry. Oh. And he said yes. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you raise. Thank you. Next up, Gavin. So tonight I'm going to be presenting about stupid things. Have you ever felt depressed? Yes. Have you ever felt sad? Yes. I want you to also think about the last time you looked at a license plate. How did you feel? Sad. Exactly. Next up on the list of stupid things is toothpaste. Now, <laughs> you can get a value two pack, but I think the better deal is this, which is two times more free. 
So the third and final thing on the list is meatball sandwiches. It's so stupid that nope, we've all accepted the fact that this is going to happen. Let me illustrate a little bit with the diagram here. So you got a meatball sandwich, you want to take a bite, you bite and oh no, it falls on the ground. It's so, it's so messy and you're sad. The solution though, maybe we could cut the roll in a way to fit the meatball in the roll so that the meatballs don't slide out. Let me illustrate for you. Here is an aerial view of the meatball roll. That is the end of my presentation and I'm looking forward to the rest of your PowerPoints tonight. That was 45 slides. Yep, anyways, next up, Kieran. Usually with my presentations, I like to take this opportunity to be an educational experience for the most part. We'll be talking about clay modeling and pottery in the Neolithic era, circa 2300 BCE. I knew there was going to be something about this shit. <laughs> I knew it. Did anyone think this was my actual presentation I was going to be doing? Yes. yes. Okay, well, unfortunately, it is not my actual presentation. Yes. Oh, I wanted to learn about clay okay. I wouldn't do something as derivative and stupid as this. That's why tonight's presentation is actually going to be about clay making and pottery in the Mycenae Greece circa 1500 BC. Does anyone think this is going to be my presentation? Yes. No. Yes. Circa 1900. Because yes. okay. this also is not my presentation. This is my actual presentation. British people. Yes. All right, trigger warning, there will be British people featured heavily throughout this presentation. Now, I would like to add another disclaimer. I am British myself. Not racist. It isn't. Okay, here we go. So next, what is a British person? <laughs> In the scientific community, there's consensus that British people first arrived on Earth about 250 million years ago on an asteroid. You might be wondering, why are British people, it seems like they're everywhere. I mean, they conquered like a quarter of the world, right? Why would they do that? Fun fact, it's due to their teeth. Now, British teeth can grow up to 10 feet in one year. They had to search around the world for new sources of lumber to gnaw on to keep their teeth from getting too long. Is this why they colonized? Yes. So British people, they like to make dens known as pubs. However, if you're out in the wild and you do encounter one, don't panic. They can actually be very friendly to people. And that's my presentation. Thank you very much. Yay! Hello everyone, my name is Enzo, but you guys can refer to me as MC Zobamba. Okay, let's get into the game I'm gonna call rap or crap. And then there's a prize at the end. I left it at home, but I'll give I'll give to whoever wins a prize. Oh yay. I got money on my mind. Hey, what's up my slime? If you think this is an actual artist, raise your hand. Alright, so two of you think it was me? Well you were right, it was MC yeah! Zobamba! Now see that gerbil, grab that tube, shove it up my butt. Let the little rascal nibble on my asshole. You want it to be so bad. <laughs> Raise your hand if you think this is a natural artist. Three, it's four, specific. five. It's two and specific. if you think it's, it was not me, it was an actual oh! artist. Wait, it's the best part. Chance the Rapper. No. J. Cole. No. It, it was no. Eminem. No! <laughs> no! Pull out my d and I pee on her. <laughs> If you think this is an actual artist, raise your hand. It is not, it's a real rapper. <laughs> it was Future on a song, Pico. <laughs> Does everyone know how many points they have? I have in last I have four I have five. Yeah, I feel like I have six or something. Yeah. Congrats, winner. Clutch your, oh, I'll give you a handshake and an IRU. It's like a, a cooler for a six pack. Oh, actually? Yeah. Whoa, what the f I try harder. Next up, Josh and his girlfriend, Skylar. I made this whole PowerPoint for Josh and he has no idea what he's about to witness. Breaking news! Oh, no! A missing person is on the loose, okay? And this is a real British person. We have a real British person. Anyways, breaking news! <laughs> 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 this is um um wow that was amazing also sorry about my voice anyways here's james's presentation so i'll be um analyzing ethnic identities of your favorite cartoon character Talk your shit. all right well let me get right into it first we got my boy darwin darwin is easily easily <laughs> easily black he's easily black <laughs> oh see i didn't even think of that plus his voice actor is black next we got arthur arthur is another black individual <laughs> Um, because people say that I look like Arthur. Um, the yellow bear. The yellow bear. Right, do the fist, do the fist. Oh, look at him. Next, we got Piccolo. Guys, Ooh. come on. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna need to sing. 
Next we got Mordecai and Rigby White. Yeah. 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 But my reasoning was because never, never on God's green earth would you see someone of another race do the bullshit that they do. Thank you everyone. Next up, Zoe. Sorry my voice is dead. All right, so vacation quiz. I am a professional vacation planner. I will plan your next dream vacation. Uh, just read the disclaimer there real quick. All right, so first stop, your dream vacation is hell. Things to do, you can suffer, all right. Hang out with all the cool kids, not the uptight people who didn't get in, and commit arson. Okay, let's try again. You guys wanna go swimming? Yeah. Oh, okay, so the swimming ended up taking you to the Marriott Trench. Unfortunately, it's kind of cold, so bring a jacket. Any questions about this? Kid? British people? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again. Oh, your dream vacation destination oh, is the deep south. I could give a presentation on my home state if you'd like me. Who here has a sibling? Me. me. Well, do I have great news? We're playing Kahoot. How do you free yourself from suffering? Be cringe, but free. Why? I put in a YouTube video one time. What is your meaning in life? Procreate. Valid. <laughs> what about you, Hamza? Uh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's see, I guess the meaning of life is basically like, for me, it'd be defining what I want and kind of going out and getting it, whether it be like, the values that I have and the experiences that I want. I think it's a collection of everything. Achievement, progress, relationships, all of these are like the meaning of life. And, you know, stopping yourself anywhere is really kind of what you don't want to do. Yeah. So, progress, I'd say. That. Anyways, yeah, Henry didn't even make a freaking PowerPoint. He made a Kahoot. So, moving on. I'll be presenting the ACU as FNAF oh, characters. Shit. Oh, shit. What's the ACU? For the Anthro Cinematic Universe. I just want to say I'm so sorry for making you guys watch this, but I want you to experience the same pain that I felt. Gavin. Oh, Gavin yeah, is me. the Matt bot. <laughs> because tell me he's not NPC <laughs> material. Zoe. <laughs> Mini Renas. Uh, next is Henry. He also fits the maid aesthetic. Yeah. And poop. <laughs> is Moon Drop. I thought that was the most accurate of all depictions. Where'd you find that photo? Enzo. <laughs> Enzo is definitely the balloon boy. This is a fucking serial killer presentation. My voice is so dead I am going to start speaking using text-to-speech software. Anyways, good job Janice, it was actually very creative. Next up though, we saved the best for last. Paul. In Paul's presentation! Oh man, take a seat, big guy. Oh. Oh. I think he wants you to go up there with him. I love children. Uh, Let me repeat that louder now. I love children. <laughs> I have committed a heinous amount of crimes. I will now talk about this. So brave. One time, I crossed the street. It wasn't in a cross box. Sometimes, I really am in a hurry. Go through a red light. That's f***ed up. I also broke into my dad's wallet and took his credit card and went to the store, bought a whole lot of hair gel. I love it when Shadow gets, gets f***ed up. I thought it was <laughs> 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 Thank you guys for coming to PowerPoint night. Yay. 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 Let's all just agree Janice had the worst one. I agree. It was it was the most Who has the best presentation? I liked I liked Kieran's. It had a nice fake out. <laughs> We're all winners. Janice. Yay. And you know, Kieran, as much as I think your presentation was amazing, you'll see why I'm gonna give this to him. Bro. I gave you 420 <laughs> photos of Tony Chow. Bro! Oh my god. Wait, there's my punch.
got one. Yeah. And he gets 4,000? 420 of them. Oh, 420. Like, that makes a difference. Wait, Look at this. You. 